Hello everyone, Frankie Day here. Okay guys, uh, for this uh, gorgeous, uh, chilly Monday afternoon, this will be video 8 for my fall build of the Blue Jacket 310 Destroyer USS Ward. Okay guys, it's taken from the last video. I went ahead and uh, got the funnels uh, installed. Uh, to the funnels, I added the, uh, the boiler casings, which fits to the bottom of the base of the funnels, which they attach to the deck. They all, they all have four of them have been installed. And uh, I get the mask caps, they've all been installed. And a hole's been pre drilled for the guy wires. And also the, uh, also the, uh, the, the radio wires, too, as well, has been uh, uh, pre drilled already. I just finished up the after deck house. Uh, we'll review that as we take a look at the model as far as uh, I've got on her. Uh, like I say, guys, she's going together pretty quick. No matter how much I take my time on this thing, it, it goes together quite quick. It ain't too much to a flush deck destroyer, fellas, you know. All you got is a couple superstructures right there, and everything else is just on the deck. And uh, But uh, the time comes in is taking all these parts and making them for plans. Uh, I've been working on the torpedo too. So we'll review that too as we uh, as we review the model itself in its entirety. Um, uh, that's about as far as I got. It's a touch-up painting here and there. I added some ladders, ladderways. They all have been added, and uh, did some touch-up painting here and there. And uh, so they they're uh, it's pretty well touched up. I can't see no more holidays on here. The man I try to look around every day I study this thing out and see if I see what's missing, what's not missing, you know, or or what part of the ship I happen to paint it or something, you know. And there's always something on here. You keep looking at it for a while, you'll find something though. But uh I think I got people caught up on this old girl. Uh, that's a piece of dust. No big deal. Anyway, be a long story short, fellas. Uh, enough chat right there is, and uh, we'll go over and take a look at the USS Ward show how much old Frankie Day got done and uh, and uh, swing the camera back to yours truly and finish up the video okay guys there she is in her entirety looking overhead I got all the details on this hull has been I go a little closer guys that's that's good enough there all these all these deck fittings have been added to the deck this is called fitting out Everything was fit. Everything was done by superstructure wise, and uh, so I got all the parts on right here. These are the torpedo bases right here, at the end of the torpedo tubes, and we'll zoom in and show you the last assembly that I got done. This thing was the after deck house. Okay, fellas, there we we're going a little closer. That's good enough, boys. Use my famous pointer stick right here. I got my good friend Gary Breaker. I haven't heard of him for a while. I hope he's okay and everything is well in his family. I hope he had a nice Thanksgiving and I hope he had a, is going to have a nice Christmas this year. And the same goes for you great fellows out there too as well. Uh, okay, right here guys. I got the after deck house done. Underneath the deck house here, I've got a little, I've got uh, framework. I've got superstructure frames that fit against the, the, uh, the house itself up to the bottom of the deck to give it support. Support uh, frames have been added around. I got the vents for the, for the apartments for the rear after steering the black gang. This is their ventilation system we have back here. And of course, you got your four inch 50, which makes a total of four four inch 50s, uh, the first deck of Story Incorporated. But, uh, as earlier as early dur during its final construction of during the World War One, post World War One, or during the First World War, well, the First World War comes to an end. These things are launched. This 450 used to be right over here. It used to be on the deck back there, but it's proved by crew members that since this is a wet boat, a lot of that water will wash on and get in top of there and eat up the uh, the gun itself. So they they found out it was a lot better if they go ahead and put it up on top of the the after deck house. And right here, guys, these are nothing but uh, dowling that I cut these for plants. They would be sanded down, primed, and I'm going to drill holes there to simulate framework. And they had some details on here. And uh, so these are going to be added as I work aft. And at the stage of the funnels, you can see how I got the baffles on here, on the bottom here. All, they all got baffles, even in the midship, uh, midship galley house. It's got a staffle right there too. Even looking forward, 
It's got its baffle there. I got the gateway ladder all the way up top of the galley deck where they can man these four inch fifties on top side. And they have the mast caps all done. As you can see, made from paper. Got all the boat davits on there. And then I got the uh, boat supports that are cost you too. They'll be added as I work aft on this thing. But as of now, fellas, for the superstructure, everything, all these fittings up has been done. I'm going to start detailing this thing out. Starting out with the jack staff here on the forecastle. The anchor crane will be detailed out. I'll add my anchor chains all the way around the capstan into the hawse lip. You got a hawse lip here and another hawse lip over here. Here and there, fellas. There's your hawse lip. There's your hatch cover here. Those are the four compartment. In your 4 inch 50, your breakwater. There's going to be a wire, a wire breakwater guard that'll, that'll come here. It'll bend over and come down the other side. That's for the detail features. So I'll be detailing everything out forward. Then I'll start on the bridge, add the mass, all the detail parts, start rigging up the funnels, add the details, and start proceeding aft as follows. And lastly, work on the tubes. Okay, fellas, now the torpedo tubes, I've been farting around the torpedo tubes a little bit here. And I'll put the pointer away here. Right here, our finished torpedo tubes. I filed, I filed very gently. And I, I filed, and I, uh, I put them against the plan, see if they're right on. They're, they're right on. You can tell the taper on. You can see how they tapered out. Now, these are the ones that are completed, but the, each one of these torpedo tubes got to be detailed out. Every one of them. So that's a great time consuming feature. So after I get everything done forward, I'll start working on the torpedo tubes. And I'll detail them out, and I'll go ahead and finish up the rest of the ship. And it should be done. And over here next to the torpedo tubes I farted around with, these are all dowels cut and marked. So they all got to be shaped, filed, sanded, and uh, ready for the detail done on it. And like I said before earlier in the video, I'll go, we got these little, I just put them lame here just to give you a good idea of how the torpedoes will fit. Of course, the finished product can be like this, and you'll see how it fits like this. And, uh, so I will make these things so they elevate. I already got locating pinholes in here as you can see. And I've got to make mark center lines inside the dowling in here. It'll accommodate the pin so it can rotate. Okay guys, that's about as far as I got on the USS board. And uh, so uh, next next assembly is going to be is going to be um, is going to be the detail work. I'll probably commence maybe this evening sometime. I'll start working on the detail forward, like I said in the video, and work aft. The time consuming thing is going to be the torpedo tubes, but once I get them done, I can work on them like an assembly line. That's the fasten up the, uh, uh, the build. And uh, like I say, this is a very unusual ship. You know, these are uh, flush deck, four stack destroyers, but they're very effective for the war. Because fellas, that's all. Because that's all they they they, uh, they had back uh, they had back in those days, back in World War One. They're they're getting away from the uh, the Spanish American War type pre dreadnought designs, and so they they're more or less adding uh, be better uh, better firepower, better better ships in the Navy. And we had we just called progress. You can't stop progress, and. Uh, these were, it was very smart of them and they had these things laying in idle for 20 years in mothballs and they finally, they, they finally saw service. Most of them did see service. A lot of them were used to the reserve fleet, United States Navy reserves. They more or less farted around with these four stackers destroyers. The rest of them was regular Navy. And uh, of course regular Navy there's in reserves are the same thing, but you had naval reserves too as well as on capital ships too as well as these uh, ancient uh, four stacker four piper destroyers so eventually uh, during before war two got underway a lot of the United States Navy uh, the enlisted personnel of the naval reserves 
they, they saw a lot of action on, on the four pipers. And the four pipers were, they used them pretty much throughout the war. But probably about the war's end, they just finally got rid of them because they had better stuff out there than what was available 20 years in the past. 20 plus years in the past, excuse me. So next video of this, it's Monday, um, be Wednesday. Wednesday will be the be video number nine on the USS Ward. And uh, so right now I'm gonna start detailing this thing out. It's at the detail phase of construction. So detail phase takes a lot more time. So you gotta make all those parts real nice and everything and make them look good. And make them give them ship shape. So uh, Captain Nottlebridge will approve. Okay, guys, uh, this is Frankie Day signing off. I'd like to thank you for tuning in. Make Mama happy. And thank you very much, guys, for tuning in again on this video here. I'll stay on this thing for a while until I finish it up. Then I'm going to start finish up the rest of my classic uh, kits i got going on. i got so much going on, fellas, I can't tell east from west here. So, like right now, I'm just fuck down and building these darn... These, these uh, the ships right now. I'm trying to get my destroyer all done and... And I'll start probably getting on some of the other ones I started a while ago, fellas. And uh, so I got to do here. I got myself caught up in Modeler Syndrome, and I'm paying for it now with a lot of unfinished stuff laying around. And uh, so I got a lot of uh, a lot of spring cleaning that I got to do here in this uh, man cave of mine to get it ship shape so I can be able to maneuver. I'm being overwhelmed with models. Okay, guys, that'll about do it for this evening. So stick around. Next Wednesday will be uh, video number nine of the USS Ward, the Blue Jacket 310 Destroyer by Blue Jacket Ship Crafters. If anyone's got that kit, this, this video is here. will make a good uh, assortment to your construction, and then you'll see how old Frankie Day got his, and you can get yours going too. So, okay, guys, uh, I'm out of here right now. Signing off, Frankie Day, out of here, and uh, make Mama happy again. And uh, love you guys. God bless you guys. And all, all you guys have a good Merry Christmas. And be safe out there. Bye, boys. Frankie Day signing off.